I don't want to use the language I'm afraid. You do difficult things is the thing that will fill you up. It's a decision to go off and do it. You had said to me a couple months ago that when we are trying to connect with people or relate with people for partnerships, uh -huh. we've got to look for the, the patterns that match our person. Kind of like what you're saying to him. Mm -hmm. uh, in relation to this topic, finding our purpose, is there a pattern that you've seen people who are moving towards their purpose. Could you talk on that? I think, I think life will keep reminding you. It'll keep showing up in your face. And, and at some point, you have to choose to listen to it. Uh, I, was, I had a call with a woman on Monday who, for 20 years, has been on and off and started in the food business. All of her happiest moments have been around food, because food equals family for her. And family is her most important core value. But every time she started a business, she stopped. And for 20 years, it's been on and off and on and off and on and off and on and off. And we got to the point where we found out that her mom was an entrepreneur, and her mom was never home, and her mom only cared about money. And so she's worried that she's going to be her mom. But she keeps getting these ideas for the past 20. Like it's not, it's going to keep coming up. More ideas will come up in the same vein. You have to go off and do that thing, but just don't become your mom. Like, can you be an entrepreneur and still be there for your family? Yes. You get to define. You get to pick. You don't have to go and never be home. So if you do the thought process and you think about the who, I, how, it gives clarity. But if not, it'll keep punching you in the face. You're, you're always going to be drawn to community stuff. Always. Now, if you know it, then you can, you can build it around it and go a lot faster. But life's waiting for you to take that first step. Now, you've already done it. But for others, like if you weren't so aware, you you're, you're keep thinking, I have to go be an architect. I have to go be an architect. Right? The community thing will keep yeah. smashing you in the face until you decide to take that first step. So in the process of leveling up, like, what are you going through? Like, how do you know the process that you're following? Like, how do you plan on leveling up yourself? So I feel like we can learn a lot from you. Yeah, yeah. I, so I think whatever your most important core value is, yeah. your who, you need to be around that with people who are playing at a bigger level than you are. Sure. So community, he should cr be around people who are creating giant communities. That'll force him to level up. For me, it's believe. So I do it through what I call aspirational mentors, the people who are on my channel. Every day, I'm filling my head with Oprah and Elon Musk and Steve Jobs. And, and every day I pick up something that then makes me want to play a bigger game. Belief is my greatest strength, but it's also the greatest weakness. My biggest problem is I don't believe in myself enough to get to the next step. Mm, you have that problem. Of course. Yeah. His biggest problem is he doesn't think he can build a big enough community. But it sounds like your way of leveling up, or your way, like your process, yeah. is doing what you were already doing. But are you saying you're doing it more so, so there's two things. One, it's having it in your daily environment, yeah. right? So every day, I want to surround myself with more belief, right? So, and I'm, I'm always experimenting. I'm always trying a new series. I'm all, I, I hack myself. If I've learned from the video, then I share it with you guys. There's a thousand plus videos that we haven't posted on my channel because I didn't learn from them. I didn't like them. So they're gone, right? That my teammate, but it's like, no, because I, I have to love it, yeah. right? A thousand, like more than what most people ever make, period. Yeah. Right? Uh, so you need that on a daily. The hard part is, is the specific thing. It's great. You want more of the, I want to believe more in myself. Great. I want to get 10 million subscribers. Awesome. What's the step? What's the next thing? It's finding the thing that you're afraid of, and when you catch it, jumping into it. We had a guy here who was on a, I gave him a 75 day challenge to make a video a day because it terrifies him. And so now he's off, and he, we made him do his first one here in front of everybody, because why not, right? <laughs> Instead of doing it at home, like, let's go. And it, whatever, it was OK. That was perfect. It was OK. But, but that's, the, that's the process. Like, what's the specific next step you're going to take to help you move on? And that's where I still struggle, and everybody struggles. Because as soon as I find it, I have to do it. If I even thought that making 75 videos a day or uh, for 75 days would scare me, then I would have to do it, right? I don't want to use the language I'm afraid. 
If you find the thing you're, the fact that you're scared to do it means you have to do it. Mm -hmm. And so I use that as a, a language test. Um, difficult, hard, scared. You ever catch yourself saying those things? Whatever you're talking about, you have to go do. Even if it has nothing to do with your business. Just to prove to yourself that you can do it. Because if you find something scary and then you back down, you can't, you can't teach yourself that. You can't teach yourself that I, I find scary and then I play small. It's better not to find it at all. So language is one. Um, and the second is, is how you feel. So I have a, a heartbeat test. When your heart's beating quickly, boom, 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 you have to do it. Same thing. What are you so afraid to do? What's causing you anxiety and fear? Right? You may not be saying words to yourself, but you're feeling it and you're, you have to do that thing. Especially when it's around judgment. His big fear is not making 75 videos, it's posting them on Instagram and then his friends saying that he sucks, right? Or, or they'll be low quality or whatever, right? That's what he's really afraid of, right? Now, don't do, don't do stupid, right? Like, don't just jump off the balcony because you're afraid to do it, right? Yeah, yeah, no, obviously. But, but when you're in a moment, like even here, if you're afraid to ask a question, right? If, any, if anybody's sitting down, you're like, <sighs> then you have to do it. Like, don't teach yourself that you're afraid and then you don't follow through. Even if you suck at the thing, right? Like if you're afraid to ask a question, you put your hand and I say, hey, and then you just vomit everywhere. Awesome. Like you did it. <laughs> because the fact that you do difficult things is the thing that will fill you up. Because if you tie your self-worth to how well you did it, if you tie your self-worth to winning, you'll only take on things you know you're going to win at. And there you play small for life. But if you tie yourself worth to the effort to try, and then you'll take on amazing things. That's why. Just to, if you were terrified to ask a question and you got up and you vomited everywhere, I'm pumped because you tried. Like if I'm you, I'm pumped for myself because I did the difficult thing, even though I got a crappy result. Because if you kept getting up and doing it, you're not going to vomit every time. You're eventually going to break, make your breakthrough and go, right? You know, he, he, you waited in line how long to see Sylvester Stallone? Eight hours to ask Sylvester Stallone a question on mental health I got last year. He waited eight hours to talk to Sylvester Stallone for a minute, two minutes. 10,000 Right. Great. That's how you, how do you get to the hockey player? Same thing. Where is he? Like, it's not, it's not making a connection. It's a decision to go off and do it. To say, I'm going to sit in line for eight hours to talk to Sylvester Stallone. If you have a podcast or interview show and want me to be a guest on it, I have two options for you. There's a link right there next to me. Go click it, and I look forward to being a guest on your show.